Well, I'm not doing it again. I thought I'd talk about uh, the Steam franchise. Uh, it's popular, but I, I never really understood it. The Halo franchise. So, I just finished playing Halo 2 and I'm starting with Halo 3 right now. And, uh, it's a good game, but, um, I, I don't understand why it's Halo is such a great game. I'll say what I think it does right is it has solid control and it's something that we needed on the Xbox. It definitely, it definitely cemented the Xbox as a major console. Uh, it needed that, that shooter to bring the audience. Now, I remember, I, I was always a, mostly a PC gamer, and I remember that, uh, reading the magazines about this new Halo game coming out for the PC at that time. The cool thing was that it had vehicles that were drivable and flyable, and that was still fairly new at the time. And then, of course, when the Xbox was announced, the Microsoft bought the game and wanted it at a launch level. Definitely a good business move for them. And, uh, I don't think the Xbox would be what it is today without that game. But the thing is, it, it was kind of like the second coming. It was this great game. The ultimate, actually, I don't know. And the character, Master Chief, too. We'll get into that later, but I, I don't really get it. Um, now I'm guessing the thing was that those gamers hadn't played a game like that before. They, uh, maybe, we're always console gamers. Now I started out as a console gamer back before I even joined the Empire. I used to have a Nintendo just on the the Super Nintendo Genesis. You know, I loved all those types of things. Uh, it wasn't until I was 15 that I got my first computer, and then that's when I really started playing games on the computer. And of course, you know, I played Wolfenstein and Doom. Doom, that was, that was something that really drew me in. Well, I suppose Wolfenstein and, uh, uh, what was going before that started the whole computer genre. So I guess you could say, because I was on the ground floor and I played this type of game quite a lot, I mean, I played the hell out of the game in D2. Uh, you know, I knew where shooting was supposed to be and had that experience and it was great. You know, I just, well, I didn't have an Xbox, uh, and I only got an Xbox 360 after the demo for over a year or two. So I remember seeing the videos and hearing people talk about it and not really understanding it, but I had to see what it was all about, just for myself, so that's why I played these games start to finish. Uh, up until the third one, I'm working on now, and I've also played most of Reach, which is a good game. So, what my impression is, is that, uh, I think what the game did is it nailed control. Now, let me say, coming from a PC gamer background, I always play with the mouse and keyboard. That's the kind of way to play it through. You've got the precision of the mouse. You can aim and point exactly what you want to shoot at. Just like on the battlefield in real life. When I've got my blast type of real life blaster, I point it, my target, I squeeze the trigger, and I blast that rebel scope. Bam. Now with a gamepad, let me get one. Let me get this. Huh? This is nothing like a gun. How do you aim with this thing? You gotta point it. Okay, move it again. How do you aim with this? This thumb, with a thumb. I don't aim with my thumb. I aim with my eyes. No. My index finger. Okay. But, uh, they figure all figured it out. This is where I'll give them credit. And I don't even know where they got these skills, because they only made, what, Marathon before this? It's for the Mac. And then, I don't know how Microsoft even thought to hire these guys, but I guess they saw their own seeing good. They got them to build this team. And they, they must have really put the work into this. They, they nailed the controls. And I think that's why they're successful. And they figured out how to get that game to respond to shooting and aiming with a game. I don't know how they did it, but they did it. Something about the, the little bit of lag you expect in your, your movement and the, your response, they got that. And it made it feel satisfying. So, I think that's what they did. They got control. They made the experience fun. And they did not let the control get in the way you're enjoying it. The other thing is the fiction. 
Oh, that's it. Master Chief, well, he's just a mere silent protagonist. Not a silent of Gordon Freeman, but, you know, he's just a stoic that's a good job doing you know, I know a lot of buddies in the core like that. And, uh, you know, that's fine. They, it leaves room for the player to identify, uh, to project their own personality into the character. And, uh, and, and that's a good move. The other thing is, they, uh, well, they give you this Cortana AI. Now here's this sexy virtual woman who's tailor made just for you, embedded in your armor. He's got this personal woman secretary thing helping you out. To make you a uh, super soldier, you're taller than everybody, you're bigger, you're stronger, and faster. You can jump higher than everybody else. Of course, you know, sure. They made you the, what is it in America? The, the high school quarterback with the TV girlfriend who's sassy and she only likes you. She's made for you. Oh, that's right. So, yeah, yeah, it is a good. Personality. There's not really much of a character there. It's whatever you need the character. So I think that's where the, the chief comes out as a successful character. Okay, good on them. Uh, these are things that see they're not really innovative, but they're they're solid. And and the space marine. Well, you know, this is goes back to aliens and uh, definitely an alien inspiration there. Maybe some more kind of stuff with blow. Uh, yeah, standard stuff, you know, and the covenant is, well, you know, they've got a good excuse for having a project of different alien races come in too, and, uh, and the prophets, and, <laughs> kind of melodramatic, you know, that's what the audience kind of wanted at this point. Fair enough. So, it's good stuff, you know, it's, it's good, it's not great, but I think they did a good job. So, and that's my kind of general take on the whole thing. Uh, good stuff, not great. I think then, uh, you know, it was successful in what it wanted to do. It wanted to give a good solid action franchise for a cool console, for people who don't have computers and didn't have this type of game before. It was great, and I could see why they love it. It's, you know, I wouldn't call it up as the second film or anything like that. Uh, you know, I think it was really Rebels. Uh, the fiction is, you know, you know it's be sci-fi. Yeah, it's alright, you know. Well, let's say about it. Uh, it did, I think it, it deserves its success. I wouldn't go on stacking it up online and, and, you know, I wouldn't go on the hall and say, yeah, this is better than all the other things. That's a good one. Comparing it to other games, well, I wouldn't compare it to things like you know, Call of Duty is the one I guess they they rival it against, and you know it's another well, it's a military shooter. It's an action game. Anything. You can enjoy both. Why not? It does what it wanted to do. It lets you sit on the couch and shoot things and feel like you're a super soldier. Okay, you know, and I think that's what people want. They want to come home from the boring job, and they want to relax, and they want to pretend they're a soldier. Okay, so you live with a dream. So, hey, okay. you know what you know? Um, good game recommended. Oh, one new take I forgot to mention. The first two games, the level design was terrible. I gotta say, they improved this in the third game, it's not perfect. I don't want to get lost. I don't know where to go. These levels are huge. And I guess they're designed for multiplayer. And that's again a huge success. And they repeat the texture and design. Oh, I remember several times I was walking through this long tunnel with pain. And then I'd get turned around and shooting stuff. And then I'd forget which way I was going. And there's nothing on the map to tell me that. I don't have a map to do that. You can take it away. Just a circle of dotson. So I walked the wrong way, and then I go back the other way, and I would swear I'd, I'd turn about going the wrong way. And then I would say, "What? Oh, I was going the right way." But this corridor looks exactly the same as the corridor I came from. Level design was lacking. But again, all the controls, 
They created a decent world to talk to Carl. Who said again? Recommended it for the console crowd. Yeah? Again, you know, I come from the PC Master Race, so it, it, it was disappointing for me, but they're okay. They're okay games. I think they got better over the, as time went on. I'm enjoying the third one. Kind of boring. I don't know if I'll finish it. But I want to get on and try the fourth one and see what happens there, so. Again, the story, uh, I don't know. Super Weapon, Wipe of the Galaxy. I don't know why I want to destroy the whole galaxy. Hey, where is that? Where is it? Oh, I don't want to destroy it. Keep all my stuff here. Who are Subjugated. I'm not sure. That's all. But, uh, what do you mean? Yeah, I don't want to test you. Anyway, those are my thoughts. Uh, that's my two cents. Not, uh, the Central Empire's opinion of the, uh, franchise, but that's what I think of it, you know? I mean, I'm not too polarized one way or the other, so, I don't know. That's okay. It's a good game. Not the best. I, I think there's other, better stuff out there to play. But, uh, let me know what you think. Obviously, there's a lot of fans out there. Very successful. Made a lot of money. Everybody likes it. And uh, I gotta admit, I do enjoy playing with my my squad mates. My buddy come over and we shoot each other and jump on vehicles. That's good fun. Good multiplayer. I'm not a big multiplayer fan, but even I enjoy it. You know, it simulates a bit of the combat experience that I uh, that I kind of crave when I'm on my downtime, like right now. I'm quiet at the moment. No more rental activity. I think they're too good at their jobs to do work at too many of them. Anyway. What do you think I should talk about for my next game? I'll make another video next time I get some downtime. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go change out of this armor. I can't see anything.